what's up beauty crew and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello hello we're gonna do three different shapes of acrylic nails or any nails so we're gonna go ahead and get started so I am just placing the tips on my three fingers we are going to be doing three different designs or shapes so for the first shape we are doing a stiletto nail so for stilettos and any shape nails you want to make sure that your scissors are lining up with the sidewall of the natural nail just as so and then you are going to make a slant on each side and you want it to be a dramatic slant and you're gonna connect the sidewall of the natural nail to the tip of the nail and just come in and do a stiletto. So for stilettos, you want that V shape on each side when you're cutting. Now I like to use scissors because you have more control over the blade and you can see more and cut more um, space versus like the nail clippers. So for coffin, you wanna do the same thing. You want to make sure your scissors are flushed with the nail tip when where you're gonna cut, but you don't wanna do a dramatic slant. You're just gonna kind of cut off that corner that peeks out, just like that. So you wanna make sure it's flushed. And if you make smaller snips like what happened there, it's okay because you can either file that once you're done or you can just come in again and start it where you were supposed to cut it so that flush and just get the rest of that off. I always find myself to have trouble like cutting the inside of the tip because it's just not as... I don't know I don't know why like I really don't know why maybe it's just because I'm doing it on myself or I always have issues doing that side on myself I guess which is probably the reason I mainly do square nails on myself because look how easy it is to do like a really good tapered square so you literally are just gonna cut a straight line lined up from the tip to your nail bed or sidewall of your nail bed and you kind of just want to take off that little bevel that comes right there. And then because the nail tip is broken, we are going to go ahead and just cut underneath the number. So I'm not too worried about how the tip is going to look right now because it's broken anyway. So we're just going to cut underneath it. So we're going to cut that one off. And then we will see how that looks all right so what we're gonna do next or what you can do next is just file them as so or let's go ahead and make them shorter because I know a lot of my clients don't get long nails like that so let's make it a little realistic and for square uh -huh, look at that you're done voila no more so for coffin and stiletto, it is a little bit harder on shorter nails, but it's the same principle. Again, you're just gonna come in with that extreme slant for the stiletto and make sure your sidewall and your scissors match up. Again, repeat that on the same side and you just wanna connect it to the tip. But you see how that tip is a little bit more square on the end? We're gonna go ahead and kind of chop off those little squared corners. I like to use my pinky as a stabilizer whenever I'm doing nails on myself. It's just so much easier. So once you have those little corners chopped up, we're going to go back in with that slant motion and we're just gonna kind of line up the new tip to the sidewall. So you can see that it lets you cut off a little bit of excess. So you're just gonna cut that off. Now once you have your preset down on your shapes, you can either file them right after or before you put your acrylic on, or you can file it after you do your acrylic application. But if you're doing it after your acrylic application, just make sure you are cleaning up your sidewalls at all times, just so you're not sitting there filing for even longer amount of time. So with coffin, same principle, we are going in at a slighter slant than the stiletto just because we don't want it as extreme. So 
So now that we got these babies into shape, I'm going to show you how to file them. So with filing them, you want to make sure that you always are connecting your sidewall to your tip just so that everything is flushed and it helps prevent lifting. You don't have any lifting on the sides of the nails and you're just making sure that nail tip is flushed again to your natural nail. You don't want to go too hard and crazy, you just want to apply enough pressure to where you see that it is coming in and just tapering itself. And also don't work on one spot for too too long because that's how you cause like friction burns and those are not pleasant for anybody. So before you work on anyone just make sure you know how it feels to get hurt so that way you know what to avoid. That's how I took it. and. Just saying. <laughs> but when you're filing the shapes, it is the same thing, the same concept. You want to make sure you are going in at the slant that you are going in like with your scissors. So you're just gonna go ahead and bring the file inwards for our coffin. I like to file underneath just because that side had that little bevel. So that way I make sure I get that one all situated. And because these nails were a little bit curved, if they're shorter, they're not gonna have that extreme curve. So that's kind of good if you don't like that, if you do like more of like the straight edge nails. So if you file underneath the curved nails, that kind of takes away that harsh curve. So for a stiletto, I always do these ones differently when I'm filing because when you're doing something in a round shape, you wanna make sure that you're doing kind of curvature motions just like that and I don't want to file one side down too much so I'll do kind of like a swiping motion versus a seesaw motion. But you want to make sure as you get to the tip you're kind of rounding your file just as so. So you can go ahead and get your sides tapered in as much as you can. And, but as soon as you get to that top portion, you wanna make sure that's more rounded out. So now that your nails are all filed into shape and how you want them, you can go ahead, add your primer and start your acrylic application, your gel application, or whatever application you guys do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, Beauty Crew. Bye.